Hey, what's up guys? My name is John and I'm an emergency medicine PA. And in this video, I'm going to share five tips on how to make PA school go more smoothly, how to make PA school easier in a sense. Some of them might sound like common sense, but believe me, when you are in the weeds, this is the sort of advice you need to hear. PA school, as I've spoken about in my other video, is pretty difficult. So if you want to watch that video, go check it out because I share a lot of information in there. As always, guys, if you've seen a few of my videos and you really enjoy this sort of content, please hit that subscribe button. It's free to subscribe, it really helps the channel out so much. Don't forget to hit that like button down below and consider checking me out on Instagram where I share more about the life of a physician assistant. Tip number one to making PA school easier to make it a smoother experience is to have a good support system. Getting to PA school is not an individual feat and surviving through PA school also is not an individual feat. You rely on so many people in your life who hold you up and support you. Don't forget about that support system. Personally, I knew that I confided a lot in my brother or my mother. I would vent to uh, them if I was having a bad day or if something you know unique or cool was going on, you know, just share an experience. And if you really don't have anybody to talk to, anyone to kind of go to, I guarantee you that you have a whole bunch of other classmates who are going through the same thing day in and day out. You can definitely use your classmates, maybe one or two really good friends in PA school to talk about things, to talk through things, and to just get something off of your chest because you don't want to kind of keep a lot of your thoughts pent up. You will get burnt out. You will get exhausted doing that. So just vent, just have a good session, you know, vent session or talk about an exam or say why you're upset or how you can maybe improve. You know, have people that you can talk to during PA school. It will definitely go a long way in making PA school a lot easier. My second tip on how to make PA school easier, how to make PA school a smoother experience is to not forget about your sleep hygiene and your nutrition, guys. It is very easy when you are stressed out to just go order a pizza online or go run to McDonald's or go eat some junk. Those sorts of foods aren't really good for your mind, they're not really good for your body, and they will sap energy out of you and make you feel like crap. And the last thing you want is to feel like crap and you have a big exam tomorrow. It's a lot cheaper, it's a lot healthier to make your own food. And at least during PA school, I would make a lot of my own dishes. I would snack on like, say a banana, I would have a protein shake in the morning, definitely drank a, a ton of coffee or energy drinks, sugar-free energy drinks, but energy drinks nonetheless. There's a balance. I'm not saying you have to spend hours meal prepping, but try to just look at what you're eating, at least while you're in PA school, because I know if you can go to the gym or if you can exercise, that's also very helpful, but that takes a decent amount of time. I think eating well is at least a bare minimum that you could strive to achieve. Secondly is make sure you're getting enough sleep. As tempting as it is to sleep for like three or four hours and get, you know, extra, squeeze out as much studying as you can the night before an exam, no, get your sleep, get your sleep, get your sleep. I guarantee you, you will be more willing to tackle the day if you have six, seven, eight hours of sleep under your belt. You'll be sharper, more focused, more energized, and that is a very important thing in PA school when you are going one day at a time. My third tip to making PA school a lot easier is to leverage your classmates. Let me explain. So I remember in PA school, people wound up forming these cliques, these little study groups. And there was a group of girls that wound up making their own study guides. Sometimes they'd share them with the class. Through Google Docs, you could collaborate with uh, other people and they would make study guides together and then study off of the study guides and do really well in class. And sometimes they'd share these study guides with people. By using classmates and talking through this, they were able to make a study guide that is superior to somebody like me, you know, if I'm just working by myself. I think what's also very important is to find a classmate that is doing really well in PA school, especially if you are struggling, and pick their brain or ask them to explain a concept or see what they think is important for that next exam. Let them help you. And you know what? They want to help you. I can guarantee you that if you are in the position of you are doing really well, then teaching concepts to other people really helps solidify your knowledge and information. I personally was into the camp of I'd like to try and organize study groups, like to hang out with people and write stuff on a, on a, 
a whiteboard. My fourth tip on making PA school easier is to ask a lot of questions. Guys, there is no such thing as a dumb question and you are there in PA school to learn. Not saying interrupt your lecture 20 times to ask a question. If you wanna save your question to after lecture, it might help. But sometimes these questions, if you have a question, somebody else in your class probably has that same exact question. So ask, it's very helpful. Use your question and come from a standpoint of I'm unsure and I want clarification rather than I'm trying to prove somebody wrong or I'm trying to show how smart I am. Do you know what I mean? If you ask a genuine question, people want to help you and you will get a genuine answer. My last tip on how to make PA school easier, how to make PA school just more smooth of an operation in general, guys, is to remember to unwind. That is so, 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 so important. You need to rest on the long days of studying. You need just days where you kind of not do anything. Definitely need hobbies to get your mind off of all the stress that happens during PA school. I can tell you that as a PA cohort, as a PA class, we did do open invitations to say the local bar after a really hard exam. Let's all go to King's Corner. Let's all go to some local bar and hang out and get some beers and just unwind. I mean, we had some parties during PA school, definitely would get together and watch some sports on the weekends. And I mean, I'm not even really into sports. I would still go just to unwind, just to get my mind off of uh, studying material. What did you enjoy doing before PA school? You should try to continue doing that. I know somebody who took up rock climbing during PA school and that wound up becoming his hobby. I can tell you guys that my hobbies before PA school, I enjoyed writing music on Logic Pro. I would work on my website, frenchcrazy.com, and I still work on it. I even admit sometimes me and a few PA school classmates and friends from my hometown would link up on Xbox Live and we'd just play some video games, you know? So it's very easy to unwind. Please, 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 if you get a week, two weeks, three weeks off of PA school, do not study. I'm, and I'm not talking like you just graduated and you have your pants coming up. You have a holiday break, go enjoy that holiday. Go see your family, please. Do not uh, study on these breaks. So those are my five tips on how to make PA school an easier experience, how to make PA school go more smoothly. If you guys have any really good tips, please share them down below in the comment section. We will be helping out other PA school students. And as always guys, stay safe out there. Have a great day. Bye-bye.